You're watching News 8 at 6. A former lobster boat captain who overcame illiteracy in his 90s and even wrote a book back in the news tonight. Captain Jim Henry's story has touched so many lives, even the president's. News 8's Tina Detel has a closer look. 1550, United States from 13 original colonies. The students at Ledger Center School have become good friends with Captain Jim Henry. It's just so amazing how, like, he started out at that point and then he rose to fame. His book, In a Fisherman's Language, a source of inspiration. Up until age 91, Captain Jim was illiterate. He taught himself to read and then wrote this book an accomplishment which continues to be celebrated. You make me want to read every day. You bring joy to our hearts. Some of your stories made me cry. Captain Jim was also presented with a citation from the General Assembly, and Congressman Joe Courtney read a letter from the White House. I wish you all the best. Sincerely, President Barack Obama. Well, wow, that's quite an honor. <laughs> I appreciate that at my age. God only knows how long. The presidential recognition comes after his book was accepted into the Library of Congress, which has 838 miles of bookshelves. It just seemed that that's really um, a story that really belongs uh, in the Congress and also the story about Captain Henry. It's the motivation uh, to see him, see him do what he's done. As News 8 has shown you, this 98-year-old author inspires his family, students at Ledger Center School, and now so many more. The book is going port to port to a school in each of the 50 states. I think it's great that he gets to get this much good congratulations. As these students now head off to summer vacation, the hope is that this event will inspire them to continue reading throughout the summer. In Ledger, I love reading. Yeah, because of him. Tina Detell, News 8.